And Wenton Hills has been a pretty violent past 24 hours to say. You know, you have one woman get shot at 26 years old and she lost her life. And then just around the corner, 20 plus bullets riddled her home. It's kind of scary, but it's sad, but it's happening out here a lot. So you kind of get immune to it. That the bullet that tore through a window on Kings Run Court took the life of 26 year old Isis Roseman, shown here, believed to be pregnant. Twenty-six-year-old Isis Roseman was a warm, loving, and beautiful soul, both inside and out. Although small in stature, she was big in personality and heart. She was a proud mother to three boys and was excited about giving birth to a baby girl in December, something she always wanted. Little did anyone know, a quick chain of events would change her and her children's lives forever. Just before midnight on July 6, police responded to Kings Run Court in Cincinnati's Winton Hills neighborhood for reports of a shooting. Upon arrival, they would locate an unresponsive woman inside of an apartment. CPD says they were on the deadly scene on Kings Run Court from 11.30 Thursday night until 3.30 Friday morning, gathering evidence and talking with family members and witnesses. After hours of investigating, police could not confirm if Roseman's murder was a targeted attack or if the two shootings were related. With her mother now dead and 22 shell casings outside of a home less than a block away from each other, Powell says it's time for city leaders and residents to step up and make these communities safe. The city has amazing data. We need for them to use that data. People have talked about more patrol. We have talked about programming a whole bunch. We just need to see more. I think that we hear a lot of plans, but we don't see a lot of movement. The victim was identified as 26-year-old Isis Roseman, who was taken to the University of Cincinnati Medical Center, where she was sadly succumbed to her injuries, roughly a year and a half after her younger brother, Takir DeMonte Roseman, was murdered. According to an investigation, Isis was shot through the window of her Winton Hills residence. The shooting has been investigated as a homicide, and it is unclear if Isis was in fact the target. Yeah, 26-year-old Isis Roseman was in her Winton Hills apartment when a bullet went through the window. Now, those who knew Roseman tell me they're devastated and her life was taken far too soon. Everyone pretty much is at a, at a loss for words. I mean, it's unbelievable, not just um, gun violence by itself, but to, to, if you knew ISIS, you would know this is unbelievable. CPD officers first responded to Kings Run Court at 1135 on Thursday night. Police say a bullet went through Roseman's window, striking her in the stomach. She was taken to UC Medical Center, where she later died from her injuries. Lolita Love was Roseman's guidance counselor at Princeton High School. She says they've stayed in contact after she graduated. Isis was the warmest soul. She was a beautiful person inside and out. She was small but feisty. Love says Roseman was an incredible mother to three boys, and she was pregnant with a fourth child. My understanding um, this was the first girl that she was having that she was waiting on. Neighbors in the area say they're fed up with the senseless violence. Stop killing people, please. It's this neighborhood. I, I don't know what else to do. I'm just frustrated with it because I pray every day when my son walks down my door to go to work if he's going to get shot or not. It was a violent night in Cincinnati, less than 100 yards away. Just around the corner, police were back in Winton Hills Friday morning investigating a drive-by shooting they say happened overnight. Police say shots were fired into another apartment building on Winnesty Avenue. It's just unnecessary. Put down the gun. News crews on scene heard more gunshots in the area as police investigated. The late night killing was another grim homicide scene during a summer week that's been particularly bloody. Residents, visibly frustrated and overwhelmed, say the last couple of months have been rough as gunfire plagues the area on a regular basis. Roughly five hours after ISIS's murder, a couple dozen drive-by bullets hit a building about a half block from the homicide scene. No one was wounded. Another young woman becomes Cincinnati's latest deadly shooting victim. She dies after a bullet literally flies right through her apartment window and she was inside. Good evening, I'm Mike Dardis. And I'm Cherie Palello. So Cincinnati police are still working to try and figure out if 26-year-old Isis Roseman was the intended victim or not. WLWT News Vice John London live for us in Winton Hills where neighbors, as you can imagine, are on high alert as police are investigating now three separate crime scenes this evening. Hi there, John. 
Yeah, and Cherie, we're at the third one, Cincinnati Police Course. It's not a scene anymore. They've had a car towed from Kraft at Winesti here across from me to see if bullets that hit it are related to a late night homicide in any way. They were called here by a woman who found a couple bullet holes in that car this afternoon. Earlier, drive by bullets uh, just over this way, pockmarked uh, a building along Winesti. They're not sure if that gunfire or not ties into the killing of that young woman. Another grim homicide scene in a summer week that's been particularly bloody. Yes, it's been a rough couple of months, actually. Uh, Community peace advocate Mitch Morris. It's just really nerve-wracking, but we still have to continue to be the support for the families, for the people that's left behind. About five hours after the homicide, a couple dozen drive-by bullets hit this building on Winesti about a half block away. No one was wounded. Police would only say it's part of a continuing homicide investigation. Caught up in the fear of sudden gunfire, residents who mind their own business. Like me, that work. You know, I work every day. I work 50 hours a week sometimes. So a lot of people that get out here to work, everybody ain't crazy like they, like the, like the people portray it to be. I people to get up and go to work every day, get, the, get that money like me. We hear how there's gunfire all the time around here. We also hear, where's the outrage? To have kids around gunfire like this and everybody is acting like it's normal is not okay. As of right now, there are no leads in the case, and police are encouraging anyone with information to come forward. The case remains ongoing. Now got the balloons. I look like my daddy. Where your balloon?